Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures with me, Sula. It's time for another Deep Sky Challenge. And this one was suggested to me by one of the viewers, J.S. Cheek. Thank you, J.S., for the suggestion. And it's probably something all of you have already looked at before and that I have covered before in an earlier video. And that is M13, or Messier 13, also known as the Keystone Cluster or the Hercules Cluster the best globular cluster in the northern hemisphere. At apparent magnitude 5.8, it can be seen with any telescope or binoculars, and even with your naked eye from a very dark sky site under very good conditions. This deep sky challenge is two challenges. Deep sky challenge number one is to try to see the Hercules cluster with your naked eye. And deep sky challenge number two is to see the propeller inside the cluster. Deep sky challenge number two, the propeller requires big aperture and it's hard to see it and it doesn't show well or it doesn't show at all in astrophotos. So what is the propeller you ask? Well the propeller is a pattern inside of the cluster that looks like a cross or the Mercedes-Benz emblem maybe. To see this pattern I think you need about 10 inches or more of aperture in a clear night with no moon. Now normally you can see the Hercules cluster even if the moon is out, but if you wanna see the propeller, give yourself every opportunity by choosing a moonless night with good seeing and good transparency because you wanna magnify as much as possible to see it. M13 is located in the constellation Hercules, which can be seen in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Though in the southern hemisphere, Hercules is very low in the sky, whereas in the northern hemisphere, it's much higher in the sky. But in both hemispheres, it's best seen from about May to August. So right now, which as I film this, is the beginning of July, in the northern hemisphere, Hercules is very high in the sky. So it's well positioned for seeing it naked eye and for finding and seeing the propeller. To find M13 is pretty easy. Just start from the last star in the handle of the Big Dipper and make an arc to Arcturus, one of the brightest stars in the night sky, and kind of yellowy. And once you've found Arcturus, you're gonna go 35 degrees northeast toward another very bright star, Vega. And you'll come to a trapezoid, and that trapezoid is the keystone of the constellation Hercules. And once you've found that, you're just gonna go one third of the way from Eta Hercules toward Zeta Hercules to find M13. The Hercules cluster is a globular cluster, as I mentioned, and it's 25,000 light years from Earth, and it's thought to contain over 300,000 stars. It was discovered by Edmund Halley in 1714, and it's spectacular. I know it looks bleak behind me, but it's supposed to clear up later. <laughs> and so tonight, I'm going to try to see the Hercules Cluster, naked eye, from my Bortle 3 site. I'm not going to film myself, though, because I need every advantage to see it naked eye. And that means no bright lights, no camera lights, not even a red one, and at least 30 minutes of dark adaptation or more, and deep concentration. After that, I'm going to try to see the propeller with a nine and a quarter Schmidt Cassegrain and then with my 10 inch Dobsonian. And if both of those fail, with the Swan, my 15 inch Dobsonian. I named my 15 inch telescope the Swan for three reasons. Number one, for Henrietta Swan Levitt, discoverer of the relationship between period and luminosity. And number two, for Cygnus the Swan, my favorite constellation. And number three, because swans are huge. <laughs> so I'll be back when it gets dark. Okay, I'm going to start with my 235 millimeter or nine and a quarter inch aperture Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. I have the Hercules cluster centered, not very magnified though at about um, 58 times. And now I'm gonna magnify it a lot. I'm gonna put in this eight millimeter. That'll give me around 300 times magnification. 
in. Then I have to refocus. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm going to turn off the light and study it and see if I can see the propeller. Be back in a minute. Okay, M13 is so beautiful in a big aperture telescope at high magnification. It's stunning, but I cannot see the propeller. So I think I have to go to a bigger aperture. I know it's not much more than nine and a quarter, but I'm going to try with my 10 inch Dobsonian. And if I can't see the propeller in that, I'll have to go to the Swan, the 15 inch Dobsonian. But if you ever get to see M13 and Big Aperture, enjoy, cause it's really beautiful. Okay, let's go over to the Dobsonian. Okay, now I have M13 and my 10 inch Dobsonian at 200 times magnification and I still don't see the propeller so I'm going to try this three millimeter and that will be 400 times. Be back in a minute. I can see the propeller in my 10 inch Dobsonian at 400 times <laughs> magnification. It's a beautiful evening this evening. It's not very cold and very clear and the moon sets so there's no moon and so and the seeing and the transparency are very good so I was able to magnify to 400 times and see the propeller with this 10 inch Dobsonian. Now I could still try to see it with the swan but I already know I could see it because I looked at it last night but I'll get it in there again anyway. <laughs> So I saw the propeller. <laughs> okay, I see the propeller with my 15 inch telescope at 230 times magnification. It's like cheating with this telescope. <laughs> what a great telescope. Wow. <laughs> Hello again. Well, I was able to accomplish both Deep Scout challenges. I saw the Hercules cluster with my naked eye and I saw the propeller. Now, if you want to try to see the Hercules cluster with your naked eye, go to a dark sky site, go on a moonless night and go when the seeing conditions are good. But pro tip, try to see it with your naked eye first before looking through your telescope because the telescope will give you unrealistic expectations about what it will look like with your naked eye because it's tiny. So I first used binoculars and I looked at the Hercules cluster with my binoculars to get a better idea of what it might look like to my naked eye because it's tiny. <laughs> it, it just looks like a fuzzy dot. So you can tell it's not a star, but it, it's just a tiny little thing <laughs> with your naked eye, but I saw it. Hooray! I saw the Hercules cluster with my naked eye from a Bortle 3 site. And secondly, I saw the propeller. Um, for the propeller, I didn't even try with this telescope, it's too small. But I think I could have seen it with my nine and a quarter inch telescope, but I didn't magnify enough. But anyway, I saw it with the 10 inch telescope, but it was hard. I had to use averted vision and I had to look at it a very long time before I saw it but I saw it very well with the Swan, my 15 inch telescope. So maybe you could see it with a 10 inch, uh, maybe even a nine and a quarter inch if you have that, but you can do it. It just it takes patience and you have to look at it for quite a while, I think, before you'll see it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see y'all soon. Dark skies forever. Sula signing off. <laughs>